Hey with Pokey Peeps, we're back at it. I've got another game with that Cradle Eye team. So, let's see what we've got. Alright guys, so this game was particularly hard. And I hope you can see why by looking at the Pokemon on the other team. I know it seems kind of silly, considering he has two water Pokemon and most of my team can deal with that quite well. But he's also got the Galvantula and the Katana, which take out my two main strategists, so my main two Pokemon. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty difficult, but I still wanted to go with it and see how we could go. So I'm going to lead with my Gastrodon and Cradley, and he's going to lead with his Lapras and his Fuzzy. I'm 90% sure that it's going to be the G-Max Lapras with the G-Max Resonance, so I'm going to be attacking down that, but he does go for a Thunder Wave and then a G-Max Resonance. I go for the Surf still, because I do need to get my boost up, and go for a Max Overgrowth. Still, still does over half, so we're actually in a really good position here. I'm going to do the exact same thing and go for another Surf and a, another Max Overgrowth. He goes for a G-Max Resonance, taking out our... Gastrodon, but we do take his Lapras out. He then sends in his Napkin or his Katana, and we send in our Whimsicott here. He goes for the Max Strike onto our Whimsicott, taking it out, and then another Bug Buzz onto the Cradley, and we get paralyzed. So I'm just not having any luck at this point, but we did get our Tailwind up, so I know I can send in my Heatran and go for a Heat Wave and I have a pretty good chance of taking out both of those Pokemon there, which we do. I then go for another Heat Wave, which is a ton of damage to his... What is the bear thing called? So his Beware. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And then, thankfully, we outspeed uh, on the last turn after being paralyzed yet again and we kill it with a Giga Drain. All right guys, so that was a bit of a weird game and as always, we got paralyzed, so that basically meant that we only had one or two opportunities to actually use that Pokemon because God knows if there's a chance of getting paralyzed, I'm definitely getting paralyzed. But we managed to pull through and come away with the win even though he had a better team on paper. He just I don't think he played it necessarily well. I don't know why he attacked down my Whimsicott. It was only going to be doing one or two things. It was never really going to be an offensive threat. If he had have killed my Cradley, I definitely would have almost guaranteed loss. So, a bit questionable that play, but we came away with the win, so I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy today's video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, 